What is good with y'all, man? So today we're going to be going over the best abilities to use for your team to help you guys run the ball better. Now, this could be abilities from offensive linemen to receivers to your actual running back. What abilities are actually good for the run game? Because I do consider myself a guy that runs the ball quite a bit. So I know what works, what doesn't. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get right into this. I'm going to start with the offensive line abilities. What abilities could you put on your offensive line to, you know what I mean, help your run game? Uh, so starting it off, Nasty Streak, right? Jason Kelsey gets this thing for zero AP. Nasty Streak, basically how it works is when your offensive lineman gets uh, past the D-line, so anybody in the second level, and I mean anybody, if they touch a linebacker, if they touch a safety, it doesn't matter who is in front of them as long as it's not a D-lineman. They're going to pretty much lay them out. Like, it's a very good ability. Like I said, JC Kelsey gets this for zero AP. There's a bunch of other guys that you get this for one AP for. Uh, the people that I would probably put this on, obviously, like I said, it's got to be guys that get to the second level. Mostly guys that get to the second level, it's like centers, it's your guards. Um, honestly, sometimes your tackles can. It really just depends what kind of runs that you run. So I would say pay attention to whatever run plays that you do and look at the guys that are getting to the second level for you. And if you want to put nasty streaks on them, then those would be the guys you want to put it on. Another ability for your offensive lineman is post-ups post-ups are really good i haven't really ran them a whole lot this year but they're a very very good ability uh how post-up works is when your offensive lineman is in a double team block basically they're gonna they're gonna actually do their job and block them because in this game just because you double team a defender it doesn't mean they will actually get blocked so this that this not only helps with your run game but it's also going to help with your pass game as well so this ability is actually like it goes both ways uh, but that's basically all post up is. It just makes your lineman do the job that he was supposed to do when you, you know, double team somebody. So it is very good. If you're going to put this on, guys, put this on like your left guard or your right guard, or you could go overboard with it and even put it on your center. And with all these abilities, make sure you, when you're getting uh, trying to get abilities like this, you always want to try to get the guys to get it for discounts. Uh, there's a bunch of linemen to get it for 1 AP. I'm not sure if anyone gets it for 0 AP. I'm sure there's somebody, but there's a lot of guys to get it for 1 AP. So. Uh, don't put this on like your tackles. You want to put this on your interior alignment, left guards, right guards, and centers, things like that. One more ability I want to talk about for the offensive line is uh, Puller Elite. So Puller Elite, how it works is uh, runs where you have offensive linemen that are pulling out in front. You know what I mean? Like, let's say like you got like, uh, you know, powers traps runs you know this is one play that i run it's called buck sweep we got a couple guys going out in front how it works is those guys that are pulling it's kind of like a nasty nasty streak to be honest if they go engage with anybody out in front of them that's not a defensive lineman like a uh, linebacker or a safety or a corner they're pretty much going to get a crazy block so it's basically like a nasty streak but it's just for the uh only runs where they're pulling though so it has to be for your linemen that are pulling usually your linemen that are pulling or your left guard or your right guard things like that so if you're wondering who to put it on put it those guys but like i said you got to make sure you're doing runs where you're actually pulling let's say halfback bases powers traps uh it runs like that so it's a very good ability i think alan fanka gets this for like zero ap so that's not too bad but that's pretty much it for the offensive lineman abilities a lot of the offensive lineman abilities are you know, they're not really that good, but those three ones are actually legit for your run game. But we still got more abilities that we're going to go over for some other positions to uh, help you run this ball. Next ability is going to be for the wide receivers. It's called Run Off Elite. Now, there is a bunch of guys. Well, I don't know about a bunch of guys, but there's definitely a few guys that get this ability for 1 AP. I know Deontay Johnson gets this ability for 0 AP. Basically, how the, uh, this, play, this ability works is... Uh, when the defense is in man coverage, which thankfully man coverage is in the meta, so a lot of times you're going to go against man coverage. How it works is with runoff elite, your receiver that has this ability, he'll pretty much take the defender out to play. Like, there's two ways I've noticed how it works because I've used it. It's very good. I do like it a lot. Uh, the one thing he'll do is uh, you hike the ball. He'll it, 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 on your, Let's say you're running like an inside zone, just any run, it doesn't matter. The receiver will just run downfield, take the defender right out to play. The other way I noticed is that sometimes they'll just get a crazy block animation where they'll just pretty much, it's almost like a holding, and they just will not let go of the guy. So it's very good. So. And there's a lot of runs where you're like, man, I really wish my receiver would have blocked there or my receiver did his job there. 
Runoff Elite is probably the ability that you are going to want to use. Put it on like both your outside guys. It is definitely pretty good. Like I said, there's a lot of guys that get it for 1 AP. Deontay Johnson gets it for 0 AP. Uh, and if you're wondering like where you could find a, a lot of guys to get the discounted abilities you're looking for, go over to my GG. Uh, go over to the ability section. Find the ability you're looking for, and it'll give you a list of guys to get it all for the discount amount. So if you're looking for like particular guys to get discounts that you want. Now, this next ability we're going to talk about is for wide receivers and it is for fullbacks it's called honorary lineman the reason why i'm on keith Byers is because i don't have any uh, players to actually even get it well he doesn't get this ability either but i just needed to show you the ability honorary lineman basically gives uh if a player has this and he's going up against a safety or a corner he is pretty much going to he's getting blocked all right now i don't know how many receivers get this honorary lineman ability i'm not gonna lie to you i think it's only like one or two i would have to check but if your receiver can get this for a discount i would probably get this because you know, we talked about the runoff elite how they get the crazy block animation with honorary lineman it's going to be even a better animation. It is very, very, very good. Now, I haven't really used honorary lineman on a fullback before, but I was kind of something I'm wondering is because it works against DBs, corners and safeties. If a guy has safeties in the box, me personally, I'm wondering if, let's say you got a fullback and he's leading the way with honorary lineman and the guy's got safeties in the box and he goes up one on one and blocks them. Will he get the crazy block animation for that? That's something that I'm wondering. And um, if it's true, then this ability, if you're a guy that runs the I-form with elite blocker, this ability could be absolutely insane if guys are using safeties in the box. Now, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if that's how that would work. But if it does, then this would definitely be overpowered. Real quick before we get on to the next ability, uh, that last ability we just talked about, honorary lineman. If you guys want to actually go ahead and try that out in MUP practice mode, put that on your player and go ahead and try it out. You actually could try that out if you really wanted to so if any of you guys want to try that method we just talked about let me down let me know down in the comments uh you know did you see it light up or how did it work but on to the next ability we're going to talk about actual running back abilities this is kind of like the final part we're going to talk about evasive backs and other backs uh so evasive backs if you got a guy you know like let's mccoy for example you're looking for what abilities to run on him evasive is definitely going to be your way to go if you and then if your running back does not get evasive it's fine uh and he's an evasive back you know like a juking type back not a very big back then i would go with jukebox evasive or jukebox are pretty much the abilities you want to go for a spin cycle this year is not really all that i think shady does get it correct where's it at spin cycle spins this year they're not bad a lot i know in the beginning everybody was like oh don't ever spin it's not even usable spins aren't bad you just really have to time them this year and like know how to use them but juking is definitely a lot better this year so if you got an evasive back go with the jukebox or uh if he can get evasive on him because then you get kind of like both of them so that would definitely be the way for the uh, evasive backs if you got yourself a bigger back a power back a guy that's you know going to break tackles be a big body keith byers for example there's a, there's a couple abilities you can run with him tank is definitely an option tank basically is where you know you can't get a hit stick it's definitely a very good ability uh especially now with you know it seems like they have an increased like fumble now like guys are fumbling again so that is definitely a pretty big thing some other abilities are if he can get bruised Bruiser, basically bruiser is arm bar and bulldozer combined into one ability it's pretty good uh but if you don't get the bruiser then you could either put on arm bar or you could put on bulldozer they're all very good abilities arm bars you know for sniff arms it's pretty nice bulldozer for actual trucking i would probably go with that over the uh, arm bar to be honest uh, but those are pretty much all the abilities for the power backs those three abilities now you can combine these abilities whichever way you want to that is totally up to you everybody's play styles are you know what i mean different so that's up to you if you want to run a tank and a bulldozer i think that's what i did when i ran bars i did tank for 2 ap and then you get bulldozer was it really 2 ap that's crazy i guess it was so i was using like 4 ap on him uh but that was pretty cool so you know what i mean it's an ability game you definitely want to have abilities if, on your guys if you want to make you know the best out of you know the way they play those are pretty much all the abilities though that i kind of have for you guys on you know abilities that are going to help you guys run the ball there isn't like uh 
you know to be honest we went over a lot of abilities though we honestly really did go over a lot of abilities if we're being honest and if you if you got all these abilities on it's absolutely going to help your run game and if you already have a decent run scheme that you have and you're just you know looking for those abilities to take to the next level then these should definitely help you uh you know i mean find your combination that works for you and you know what i mean go crazy with it because running the ball is definitely a lot of people don't like guys to run the ball you know what i mean but at the end of the day if you're running the ball and a man can't stop it then you got to keep running it because that's just football right there but that is pretty much gonna do it though boys like comment subscribe man and your boy is out